The Red Dead Online Naturalist role brings a host of new activities to try out, like hunting legendary animals and either stamping animal collections in your field guide or using those animals to craft unique and exclusive garment sets and other clothing. And while it may seem a little bit overwhelming at first to get started because of all the different ways you can approach this role, for the first couple levels I was extremely confused as well, so definitely no worries there. This video should help you hit the ground running with the naturalist role, and if you've already started your journey on ranking your way up and you're just looking for more tips to be as efficient with your playtime as possible, this is the perfect video here for you guys. Today I will be sharing with you the ultimate guide to rank up the naturalist role as fast as possible or as fast as you want or just in general if you're looking for the best tips. I think there's something for every type of player within this video and so if you enjoy this video at any point or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it and if you want to stay up to date with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button. I know time is of the essence for a lot of you folks so let's jump right in. Firstly, we will talk about general tips for the multiple progression paths, what they mean for you as a player and what you gain from them and more, and then we'll talk about maximizing XP or just maximizing your playtime as a whole. I honestly feel like that part is a little bit more important here. And then lastly, we'll talk about the end game upgrades and things you should keep in mind while you're ranking up. And we will wrap up with more general tips and tricks once you're well on your way. If you only want to watch a specific part of this video, check out the timestamps down in the description. So let's start off with general tips to keep in mind. The one I need to stress the most here, you only need to sedate and sample animals to get animals stamped in your field guide. Don't worry about the photographs, tracking, studying, and even killing and skinning. Worry about that stuff later. Just focus on sedating and collecting samples from animals for now. There are two progression paths to take advantage of in the naturalist role. There are of course all the skills and abilities you unlock as you rank up the naturalist role, but the role itself revolves around helping two different people. For one, there's Harriet who offers you a market to sell your animal samples, trade in your stamp collections, and also purchase new tonics to help you on your hunts and take care of your character in harsh climates and to help control his or her weight. She's your main gal while you're ranking up the role, so definitely be nice to her even though she is pretty crazy, but also be careful because if you kill too many animals too fast, the next time you visit her shop, she may be extremely upset with you and spray you with her special animal pepper spray, knocking you out and you'll respawn close by. And now she has a five minute cooldown before you can access her buy and sell pages and her mission page again. So keep that in mind, watch out for that. It's not the end of the world, but if you are on a cooldown from her, that's a perfect time to actually go out and hunt and kill and skin animals because it's essentially five minutes of free hunting. She won't be mad at you again the second after the cooldown ends if you try it. Then we have Gus, the new trapper who requests certain perfect pelts and other items to craft trinkets, which give you boosts and extra skills. He's awesome and he's great for someone who's already max rank and I'll get into why that is here in a moment but let's talk about earning XP the fastest you can earn XP the fastest by doing every single mission for Harriet sampling everything is a great way to earn XP yes and I have a video on that if you want to check that out in the description but you can earn XP even faster by making use of the in-game missions from her she has animal poacher missions on call if you check out her mission tab in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and these are similar to bootlegger missions for the moonshiner role you can accept the mission and then you go and wipe out a bunch of animal poachers just like you would wipe out a bunch of moonshine still operators or revenue agents and then there's a 15 minute cooldown on these missions so you can do other stuff in the meantime and for the first four or five levels of the naturalist role cycling these missions as much as you can while also completing animal poaching missions and sampling as many animals as possible that is probably the best bet and that's probably your only bet of ranking up and some good locations for animal sampling basically places with just lots of easy animals to sedate are places like the bayou for alligators boars and snapping turtles, Heartland Overflow area for deer, pronghorn, and bison, and with some big valley and little creek near Strawberry, there are also tons of white-tailed bucks, does, pronghorns, bighorn sheep, and even wolves if you hang around there long enough. And then of course, Rio Bravo. West of Fort Mercer, you'll find so many pronghorn that you can't even count the number of them. And the other locations are definitely the more obvious and more utilized and overall just more popular locations for hunting. But Rio Bravo is like a super underrated, maybe even a hidden gem if there are other people clogging up your other spots. But that's also not the end of the world because you can follow those other players around and sample the animals that they sedate too. That way you save some money on using your own sedative ammo 
while you rank up. And once you unlock the Naturalist Free Roam events at Naturalist Level 4, definitely try those out as they give a nice rewarding bit of XP to help you level, and on top of that, once you reach rank 5, that is when the Naturalist really opens up. You can start going on these legendary animal hunts on Call for Harriet, and this is the best part. Sure, you can find some animals in the Free Roam, but right now it's extremely hard to. I doubt Rockstar wanted it to be this hard, but the legendary animal missions on Call are perfect for XP, so when you are le level 5, participate in those, but make sure you sedate and sample the legendary animals. You do not get Naturalist XP for those missions if you kill and skin those animals. So of course, if you do decide to do that, you can sell your wares to Gus, who can craft unique clothing you can then purchase if you would like to, but for the sake of leveling up this role as fast as possible, or just being efficient with your limited playtime, I highly encourage you to focus on sampling animals for Harriet, and then, once you're max level, then you can focus on unlocking all the garment sets and clothing for Gus the Trapper. Again, not super necessary if you're looking to progress both at the same time, but I'm just letting you know the fastest way so you have the intel at your disposal, and you can make the right choice for yourself as a player. So, basically, once you have the legendary animal missions, just rinse and repeat those, the animal poacher missions, the free roam animal sampling, and also the free roam events, until you're max level naturalist. And like I said before, now that you're level 20 naturalist, this is a perfect time to dump Harriet and start hunting down all the legendary animals you can find, killing them and skinning them to sell their pelts, teeth, fangs, claws, hearts, etc. to Gus. There is a garment set for every legendary animal that Harriet asks you to track down and sedate, and there's even more free roam legendary animal variants that Gus will give you secret garment sets for, and you won't even see those on his list until you've hunted the animals down and skinned them. There's honestly so much end game replayability and opportunity for Gus, and it doesn't even end there. Like I said at the beginning, focus on sampling animals for XP and your for your stamps, but now you can revisit the animal field guide and see what animal challenges you need to complete. And so once you're max level, you've unlocked and purchased any clothing from Gus that you may want or need, now you can start shooting for 100% completion of your animal field guide habitats and start trading in those stamps for tons of money. Again, for the stamps, all you need are a sample, but since you may have already done that, the next time you find that specific animal that you're looking for, I recommend you study it, track it, photograph it, and then you can go in for the kill and skin it and check it off the animal field guide list. That's where we're going to wrap up the video here today. That was my ultimate guide on how to rank up the naturalist role fast, and we even talked about the end game replayable content to help you have fun and even make more money once you're maxed out in terms of leveling the role. Honestly, just like every role, I think once you hit max level, it doesn't just stop there. There are still tons to do, and no matter if you're sampling or skinning animals, selling the pelts, or selling the samples will still net you a lot of cash, a lot more than you may think, and you don't even need to sell the pelts to Gus if you don't want. You can donate them to your trader camp to easily fill up on the materials too, so keep that in mind. You'll need it, probably, as it now takes 250 materials to produce 100 goods instead of just 200. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it, and of course, if you are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Red Dead Online, Red Dead Redemption 2, and even Rockstar Games as a whole. We'll be sure to keep you guys up to date with updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on all three of those websites, and you can feel free to strike up a conversation conversation or even ask me a question. Whatever it may be though, you can follow me at Hazardous HDTV and all of my social media links, including my Discord, can be found in the description down below. With that said, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead online video. Adios amigos.